Hey, what's up guys? So before the video starts, I just want to let you know that my mic is having a little bit of issues right now. So I kind of have to go back to doing this for a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully I can get it fixed soon. I probably will be able to. So yeah, videos are just, the audio is not going to be as good as it was before for now. But I'd probably get that fixed pretty soon. So without further ado, on to the video. So what is up guys? Suda the Savage back and you already know that Saints losses are the number one thing I dread. Well, actually, Saints losses are the number two thing I dread. The one thing I dread filming is a Saints playoff loss. That's what it's been anyways. Saints, we lost 24-21 to to the Philadelphia Eagles. God damn it, this game was so frustrating. But got a lot to get to. Got general recap, individual player stats, and then the grade. So without further ado, let's get this video started. All right, so on to... Uh, general recap of the game. So starting off, uh, Saints, we got the ball to start off the game, and we immediately go three and out. Not so great, and uh, of course then Philly, they get the ball. Uh, they go on a long drive. Eventually they get to a fourth and one in the New Orleans 45. They end up converting on fourth down, and then we push them to a fourth and two on the New Orleans 34. They tried another, they tried to go for it on uh, fourth down again, but it failed, thank God, and uh, then of course we get the ball we make progress down the field, and then we get to a 4th and 2 at the Philly 27. Will Lutz for the 45-yard field goal. It was no good. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on with Will Lutz. He's been money up until this season. Like, the last couple of games, his production has taken a massive dip. And that is concerning because he is supposed to be one of the top kickers in the league. Uh, I still believe in him. I, I'm going to keep him for now. But if he continues to go downward, I got no problem with cutting him. Uh, but anyways, uh, then in Philadelphia Eagles, they got the ball. Uh, they're driving down the field. They get to a 4th and 2 in the New Orleans 15, and this time they convert, and it was a 15-yard touchdown pass to Alshon Jeffrey. Now, the confusing thing about this play, it kind of looked like Jeffrey kind of pushed off on Lattimore, but Lattimore just kind of stepped back a little too much, and uh, Jeffrey was just able to haul it in and go into the end zone. Uh, Saints, we get the ball, and then we immediately punt. Uh, Eagles, they get the ball, and they also immediately punt. And then we go, it's a second and seven. Taysom Hill throws a terrible pass, way too high for Kamara, and it gets intercepted by Darren Riley. So all of a sudden, it's not good. Um, then Philly, they kick the field goal on their next drive. It was a short drive, but anyways. Uh, then the Saints, we are forced to punt. And then here's the one play that pissed me off the most. Second and 10, Philly 18, Miles Sanders on the 82-yard rushing touchdown. We had like a 52-game streak. Of not, allow, of not allowing a 100-yard rusher. Holy shit, we gave it up to two guys. Gave it up to Jalen Hurts and Miles Sanders. I don't know where the hell this pass rush defense has been, but we need to tighten that up next week. I mean, it's the, it's the Chiefs. I mean, I'm more concerned about the secondary, but please, we gotta tighten this up. Uh, but anyways, uh, then the Saints, we go three and out. Philly, they go on a long drive downfield, get to a first and goal in the New Orleans four, and uh, Jake Elliott, he shanks the 22-yard field goal. So it's 17-0. I'm getting flashes back to the Minneapolis Miracle because we were down 17-0 in that game. We came back and then just fell short. So Philly, on their next drive, they start off the second half of the ball. Uh, they're forced to punt, so thank God. Uh, then the Saints, we get the ball. We go on a drive, and then we cap it off with a five-yard rushing touchdown by Alvin Kamara. It was just basically just like an HB toss. It was effective. Uh, Philly, they go on a drive. They get to a fourth and one in the New Orleans 40. They choose to go for it again on fourth and one. But this time, they get no gain. Uh, Saints, and then we go on a nice quick drive, and we get a 37-yard passing touchdown to Emmanuel Sanders. And already, we are back in the game. We force Philly to punt, and I'm thinking, this is the turning point. We're taking the lead. We're winning this game. Oh, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought they were finished. Uh, quoting Nick Mill, but... Uh, so we get to a 4th and 2 on the Philly 42, and uh, we choose to go for it. And this is the one thing that's pissed me off about Taysom Hill this year. He's way too predictable. You know when he's going to run the ball. Whenever he's doing passes, like, he's not, he, he's not really a starting option at this point. I would much rather go back to Drew Brees, no matter how many cracked ribs that he has. Uh, but anyways, um, fourth and two, like, there was a wide open guy. Taysom Hill missed him and uh, gets stripped sacked. Uh, they get the ball, but they would have gotten it anyways. And then they go on a drive, and then they cap it off with a second and goal rushing touchdown by Miles Center. It's a one-yard rush. Uh, Saints, we get the ball. We drive down the field, get to a fourth and 60 on the Philly 39, because, of course, Taysom Hill took a bad sack on a third and eight. 
Uh, and then Will Lutz misses the 57-yarder. So I'm thinking, yeah, game's over. Not quite yet. We force a fumble on Jalen Hurts. Uh, we go down and score a 20-yard passing touchdown to Jared Cook. And then, then came the onside kick. We kick the ball. It, it's kind of rolling around. Bounces off an Eagle's ankle. And I'm thinking, jump on the ball. Let's win this game. Oh, wait, we didn't jump on it. We came up just short, inches away. Philly comes out with, a, with the 24-21 victory. So many goddamn problems with this. On to individual player stats. All right, and on to a uh, individual player stats. Starting off with Taysom Hill. If I'm thinking he's the starting option, God damn it, I don't know what the hell I'm on. He was not good. Like, yeah, the first half was abysmal. He made up for it through for 291 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. Like I said, the main issues that I have with him, way too much time in the pocket, uh, always has taken bad sacks, um, way too predictable, uh, never looks for that check down, which of course, that's why Alvin Kamara was so dangerous, because Breeze was never willing to take that sack. He'd rather throw that check down than try to uh, wait around and go deep. He, he's not scared to throw the check down, so I want him back. And um, yeah, uh, in terms of rushing, uh, Alvin Kamara, he was the lead rusher with 50 yards and a touchdown, followed by Taysom Hill with 33 yards and Latavius Murray with 13 yards. So honestly, rushing game was decent. Uh, then with the shaving game, Michael Thomas, he broke out eight receptions, 84 yards. He can't guard Mike. He was making some great catches that game. Uh, then followed by Traquan Smith, he had 60 receiving yards, followed by Emmanuel Sanders with 48 and a touchdown. Alvin Kamara, he had 44 yards. So production was up from last time. Not much, not by much, though. Uh, Jared Cook, he had 37 yards and a touchdown. Troutman had 12 yards. Uh, Johnson had 11, and Josh Hill had 1. And then, of course, Latavius Murray had negative 6. So, offense, I'm going to give them a 6.5 out of 10 for today. You know, way too, we, we showed up way too late to this game. Uh, if we showed a little bit of a pulse in the first half, maybe we could have had it close. We probably would have won this game. Uh, and then the defense, where the hell was it? Like, it, it wasn't there. Like, yeah, in the second half it showed up a little bit, but overall it was just not clutch. Giving it a 5 out of 10, you know, just nothing. I got nothing to say for it. Like, yeah, we made a couple of clutch stops, but the pass rush, which was quote-unquote second best in the league, non-existent. Anyways, Jalen Hurts, in his first start, he did okay. 167 passing yards, one touchdown, but he made up for it with 106 rushing yards. A great day for him. Miles Sanders, he ran for 115 yards and two touchdowns. All by Jalen Regor, uh, he had 19 rushing yards, and then Boston Scott with six. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of receiving, lead receiver was Jalen Regor with 46 yards, followed by Dallas Goddard with 43. Miles Sanders, he had 21. Greg Ward had 20. Uh, Jeffrey had 15 and a touchdown. Boston Scott had 11. Uh, and then, of course, Zach Ertz had eight. So, overall, I'm going to give Philly's offense a 7 out of 10 show. I, no, I'll give them 8 out of 10 because, yeah, the pass game wasn't that great, but... That rush game against one of the best pass rush defenses in the league. You proved yourself that you got a pulse and still got a chance for the NFC East, which is honestly just the most depressing thing I've heard. It's like you don't belong there. Just leave. Uh, and the defense, you know, as much crap as I give your defense, you showed some pulse. You know, you got some key stops, forced two turnovers. Uh, they missed two field goals, so that doesn't help, but... Uh, overall, your defense wasn't bad today. I'm going to give you 6.5 out of 10. It was kind of like the Saints defense, except it except wasn't as like inept. Like, yeah, you gave up a couple of deep passes, but other than that, I think your defense was okay. So, I'm concerned now for the Saints, because we, we possibly blew our chance at the number one seed. Because right now, we're tied with the Packers, but they, of course, have tiebreaker over us. And getting that number one seed is the most important thing. Because don't forget... There's a seventh team in each conference, so the two seed doesn't get a bye. They play the seven. And I really don't want to have to play the Vikings or the Cardinals. I want that bye. So now we got to beat the Chiefs. That's no easy task. They are the hottest team in football right now. And we need to win this game. This is must win. Uh, if Taysom Hill's the starter, I, don't, I need him to step up. If Breeze is back, please save the Saints. And the secondary for this next game, make some stops. Like, yeah, like... Anyways, uh, overall grade, I'm going to give the Saints a 6 out of 10 for today. Was not good. Like, the first half was particularly abysmal. If I had to give a grade for the second half, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. First half gets a solid 2 out of 10. Um, but anyways, uh, then on to Philly. I'm going to give them a 7.5 out of 10 for today. 
Uh, they showed some life. Jalen Hurts might be the starting option for the team, so I'm excited to see how that goes. On to the end. That is going to wrap up my video for you. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you want to see all my other prediction videos and all my other Saints recaps, links to all that will be in the description below. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you, comment, if you haven't already. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Coffin Suitor Podcast. I know we've been a little inactive recently, but school's been a bit of a grind. It's the holiday break. We're going to get a couple of episodes out. Uh, our next one, probably going to focus a lot on like our uh, NBA season predictions. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok at SudaSavage. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Huda Nation, better be pulling off a victory. Hope you like my Christmas sweater. I am out.